So we've just done the prescribing guidelines for the top tabs. I'm going to show you other places where we've got information from meds management and other prescribing guidelines. So that was your top tab. There's medicines. So our prescribing guidelines again, drug monitoring, okay, palliative care formulary, and your newsletters. Right. And let me show you another main way. So if you go further down the page, if you press medicine informations, then these things come on prescribing guidelines, shared care guidelines, drug monitoring. So I just want to concentrate on this for the time being. So if you press prescribing guidelines, if we've got roughly 10, 15 per page, then we've got about 120 guidelines in total. So you don't want to go through each and every one of them. So maybe if you say, for example, press, I don't know, ophthalmology. So these are all the eye related guidelines so if we say dry eyes treatment that will come on you click on the document just out of interest so we went to medicine information prescribing guidelines and we pressed ophthalmology there to get the dry eye guideline but just remember the commonest ones i've got here and dry eyes is there as well next one is shared care guidelines so again, we've got about 50 shared care guidelines and you can look at them systematically or you can just click which speciality the shared care guideline might be in. So do paediatrics, then the ADHD shared care guideline comes up, then you press on the document what the general practitioner responsibilities are. We're familiar with this document. Interactions, right at the very end, are the telephone numbers if we have any concerns or problems. I guess another common one that we might need is rheumatology. Um, there's a sharp spin policy. I guess the last one is to look at drug monitoring. Right, so this is, if you just hover over it, you can just look up all the documents or what I've tried to do is I've tried to categorise them. So, for example, amiodarone, this. Yes, you've got to scroll through and it tells you what kind of things you need to monitor. So we've talked about medicine information, prescribing guidelines, shared care guidelines, drug monitoring. Uh, we had a look at the top tab prescribing guideline and another place where you find more medicine management information is this page here. They've got area prescribing committee, they've got all their newsletters here for you to have a look at. The Barnsley Area Joint Formulary, okay. Safer Traffic Light System, Sheffield, Doncaster, Rotherham, um, Medicine Page. This is the, well, the pharmacy website for Barnsley and it's got really useful information about, say, locally commissioned services, you know, first minor ailment scheme, needle and syringe programme, smoking, emergency, hormonal contraception, etc. The national services that are available in various, you know, pharmacists like you know where flu vaccination is offered etc so it might be useful Barnsley pharmacies care homes a bit of explanation about repeat dispensing I know we have pharmacists in our surgeries and they're really helpful but in addition to them, you may want to sometimes ring up this number if it's for a more complicated medication or pharmacists themselves may want to ring them up and they log your call and they'll get back to you either on the same day or a later time with any information that is that you want. It can be about interactions, anything, MHRA alerts, medicine management newsletters, there's a whole list of them so you can look at them in your own time. 
home probably all the nutrition that's being done by Barnsley CCG and the traffic light system. So this is a bit more of the pharmacy stuff that pharmacists even the community may want to look at and their best talks are going to be on in the near future. But as we said earlier, this is where other medicine information, prescribing guidelines, shared care guidelines, drug monitoring, and then under prescribing guidelines, we find a lot of information and medicines have also got a section here as well.